the Last Supper, Jesus gave us the Eucharist. Let's imagine that first Passover meal. Jesus took bread in his hand and he said, this is my body, eat it. Can you imagine those disciples looking at each other saying, what does he mean? Eat this, it's my body. And then he took a cup of wine and said, drink it. This is the blood of the new covenant. It's my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. And again, they were probably perplexed. What did he mean? Drink what looked and tasted like wine, but it really, really was his blood, body, blood, soul, and divinity. Now we hear the words, do this in remembrance of me at every mass. So what do we think of? Well, of course, we remember the institution of the Eucharist and we think to ourselves, we got to keep doing the institution of the Eucharist. We have to keep consecrating bread and wine in every mass in memory of Jesus. And so we do. But I think there's something else. What's the this in do this in memory of me? I think it's a lot more than just remembering the Last Supper. The this is all the words and actions, attitudes and qualities of Jesus Christ, following him in his lifestyle. We should do good deeds in remembrance of Jesus because Jesus did many good deeds like curing people. We should pray remembering Jesus because he would go off to the desert or up a mountain to pray. And he also taught us to pray when he gave us the Our Father. We should sacrifice in memory of Jesus because he gave many sacrifices. He even sacrificed his life on the cross. We should serve others as Jesus did. Remember how he served 5,000 people with the loaves and fish? We need to be compassionate as Jesus was. He was so compassionate when Lazarus died and he met Lazarus's sisters, Martha and Mary. He was compassionate to the widow of Nain when her only son died. We should be obedient as Jesus was in memory of him. He obeyed Mary and Joseph in their home in Nazareth. And above all, he obeyed his father in giving his life for us. We should do all the things that Jesus said and did. Remember how he said, love your enemies, do good for those who persecute you, love one another as I have loved you. Whenever we're working along with God's grace to try to live the life of Jesus, we're doing all of these things in memory of Jesus. So the next time you hear at Mass, do this in memory of me, of course, think of the bread and wine becoming the body and blood of Jesus. But also remember, we do the whole life of Christ in memory of him. We are to be Jesus in our world today.